Zodiac or the rat Zodiac rat. rat yeah rat You're Zodiac furry art baby yep furry art she's even nicking she is yeah her tail's covering up her tits okay risque yeah a little risque I, well that's fine I don't care I think you can if for art as long as it's not a sexual like nature you mm -hmm. can draw boobs and stuff, because I remember you mentioning something about like, you don't want to get banned. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure as long as you censor it, you're fine. I, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Well, no, I legit think you can draw boobs, but uh. Yeah, but do you know? No, hundred percent. <laughs> this is the first uh. Zodiac piece Derek's doing that won't be fucking disgusting. I'm gonna try to make it as cute as possible. It might be kind of hard. It might be kind of hard. I mean, it is a freaking mouse. Her made smoking opium. I mean, I made her smoking a pipe. Some of sweet, sweet opium. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of watercolor in this one. Ooh. Just because I don't want the pink to be too. Some new techniques. Too deep. I don't know how well this paper is going to accept it either. Isn't that lightweight paper? It's medium. <laughs> and I'll wait for that to dry and come back and add the dark tones. I just didn't want it to be... Didn't want it to be what, Derek? Well, I didn't want it to be like highlighter pink all over the entire nose. Oh, yeah. Well, it's kind of weird because like... <clears throat> The monitor, we have a, well, we have like a, a monitor set up where we can look at like the footage from the camera. So just so like we can see if it ever goes out of focus and stuff like that. So you make sure we still stay in frame and we don't have to get up and go all the way over to the camera and look. Mm -hmm. And on the, but on the monitor, things look a, a little bit different than they do on the actual. No, oh, you can kind of like see how soggy the nose looks right now. No. It's more about the color saturation. Like, the, the monitor always looks way more desaturated. Not way more, but a little bit more desaturated. So then whenever I look over at the actual drawing, I'm like, whoa! Brightly colored. Right now, I can't really tell a, a difference right now, because you've only done a little teeny bit, and the light's reflecting off the wet surface at the moam. Yeah. I have to make sure my big dumb head's not in the way. Nah, you have to lean forward pretty fucking far before it gets in the way. You did it! So what do you think her backstory is? Hooker. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. Typical. Yep. Actually, no. The, uh, the snake... I'll actually... I'm going to leave that up to wait, make you guys wait for it, but... The snake is of... Hooker esqueness. Cool. Well, guys, this has been uh, the NJ Art Show. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to address Derek's problematic okay. views of women. Okay, okay, okay. The snake is. I'm basing the design off a geisha. A geisha. Oh, okay. Say. I didn't know. So, you, okay. I'm just saying, you know, you've drawn two male characters and uh, one female character, and both the male characters have had, like, you know, backstories and stuff, and then the second you draw a female character, it's Hooker, so no, it's a little bit... Uh, I think her backstory... Holy yikes. Her backstory is... Uh, did you... Oh, duh. I know you saw. Is she a thief? No, she's a, um... She's a girl who uses... Remember the badass chick from Afro Samurai? Oh, fuck. The one who, like, lures him in with the, you know, sexy time and then tries to fucking murder him. It's her thing. But she also has a... Is that what happened? I think so. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. 
Uh, I'm having trouble. It's been a while since I've watched Afro Samurai. I guess I'm having trouble recalling that. I don't think that happened. Yeah, like... I think they just had sex. I think they just liked each other. No, she tried to kill him. I'd have to watch it again. I'm sure you're right. I I literally... I don't remember much at all. Actually, that wasn't her backstory. I had a backstory for this one. Um, I just remembered it. Because I forgot that I gave her one. It's like the third time. This is legit the one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm basing her off like a lab rat. Oh, so she man. has a chemical dependency. <laughs> You've been using a pink a lot in these. Yeah, yeah. Another thing I've noticed. Surprising. I always have colors that I tend to use more than others. I don't know why. Like, I always use red a lot. Not just in these Zodiac series, but it's like... It's because you're a rage-filled monster. Yeah, it's because I'm just mad all the time and I think pent up in my soul. Pent and up I in just unleash it onto the paper. Pent up in raging boners. Oh my god, um, you follow, uh, I don't know if you'll know his name offhand, but there's this artist, I'm pretty sure you follow him, there's this artist on Instagram, I think his name's Dinatomic. Dinatomic, yeah, I've been following him for a long time. Did you see the painting he did for the Red Cross or whatever in his blood? Yeah! That was crazy. He's been, he used to like, he used to do like huge portraits and now he's kind of gotten like this experimental stuff because he's the one who like made that gunpowder art explode. Yeah, he draw, he, he's been uh, making art with gunpowder and salt and, um, and he'll make like this super awesome piece with salt and then at the end of the video he'll just fucking brush it all away. Ugh, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I couldn't put that much effort into something. Like people who do chalk art. All the power to you just fucking destroy your fucking creation like that. Yeah. For sure. I mean, if it's chalk art, normally they do that on the fucking ground. So it's kind of destined to get destroyed. I mean, that's true. I just... That's what I'm saying. That they're... Oh. Style. I thought, you were, I thought they do something like... Well, I thought you were referencing like a video where they make chalk art and then wash it away after... No, it just hurts my soul to watch them do that in general. To just think that they're chalk artists who put hours and hours of fucking work into it. For them to, uh... Yeah, same thing goes for, like, any paintings on the side of, uh, walls. Like, murals. Oh, uh, yeah, like graffiti artists, I guess. That, too. Well, not just graffiti, but graffiti would definitely qualify. But, yeah. that Anyone who just makes art that's supposed to be outside. Well... Not all murals get painted over, but they do fade really. They do fade faster. Well, I mean, it's exposed to the elements, is what I'm saying. Like rain, fucking the sun bleaches it, all our, that other stuff. Our murals, our murals dying. That oh my god. Well, it didn't help that that. So I, I knew what I needed to do to paint this mural when we Justin and I had this fucking. Try to provide some backstory. We got hired to paint a mural on the side of this huge building in our town mm -hmm. and that's the backstory we did it and it isn't isn't great because we were <laughs> school well and it's also not great because we didn't get what we asked for i kept asking for all sorts of shit and didn't get any of it and it pissed me off i like asked this weird paint that like i asked for the basic colors in paint because i was like i she said she didn't want to go too over budget what do you do with my white pen Found it. That's mine, but you can use it. I don't know where yours is at. Cool, it's fine, whatever. That's a fierce bad! I'm gonna give her that. I thought of Peach's mouth from uh, Super Mario Odyssey when I thought of her mouth. Mouth. I thought, thought of Peach's mouth. Hope I can get it right. I just want to give it like that moist plumpness. Yeah, and uh, that job was hazardous as well because we had ladders on uneven ground and we kept. Yeah, I asked for scaffolding because I knew that the city had some, and we just didn't get it. So we had to fucking work on rickety ass shit. So we fell down, we're dead, and the city has some splaining to do. Yeah, we just got shitty ladders, and then we asked for like plywood to stand the ladders on. So the ground would be level, so we would stop rocking back and forth, and also having to spend 20 minutes trying to position the ladder so it was somewhat level. And, and they, it. like, fucking brought by, like, really small, thick wooden blocks. Yeah, like chunks of 2x4. That were debatably more hazardous to put the 
ladders on than the ground. That job was just ass. Like we got, we got pure ass a tree there. Yeah, we kind of just got fucked over at every turn, and it was hot summer, so it was fucking hot outside. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Painted every day. And then on top of that, we didn't get paid. Nope. We didn't get paid. Yep. We were told that we were gonna get paid. Um, I don't remember. We, also, we were not getting paid a lot of money. I don't remember how much we were going to get. I think we are supposed to get like 1000 or $1,200 or something. Uh, or I think... It might have been less than that. Well, because it was both of us, like a total. Like, not each. It it was... So we found out they're, they, pay, they paid another guy to do another mural in town, and he got paid like two grand. Yeah, but he was like a... He was that a was perfect. bound to happen, because he was an actual professional artist, and we're like... I'm surprised they even let us do it. Well, they never got the wall never got washed beforehand, even though I asked for it to be. Yeah, there's cobwebs and dirt and shit all over it. Well, not only that, Ugh. but it's literally like falling. I'm getting memories, I'm getting it's, bad memories. Yeah, there was like chunks of wall coming off of it. Well, now like chunks of paint are coming off because it was. I told them to get a an oil based or yeah an oil based um, paint because latex will rip eventually. It'll just go bad. Mm-hmm. They brought me latex base paint. <laughs> so the wall, because, and it, because it never got washed, like big chunks are like ripping off of it. Yeah. And it just looks like it's just a fucking eyesore. It's like one of the first things you see coming into our town. Yeah. And Unfortunate. I'm like, I'm like, ugh, I painted that. I painted that. I painted part of that, and it's horrible. Yeah, but it just kind of was not. I it was kind of a stupid idea to begin with. It was their idea. Yeah, I like wasn't. for the general concept of it. They like wanted us to draw buildings on it. So like their one was like a general store and then they wanted a jailhouse and then they wanted a bar. And it was kind of a dumb idea. Like it was fucking just stupid. Yeah, and then meanwhile the other guy got to do like cool graffiti esque art and like portraits of people and they stole my idea because they're like, oh, what would you do on this one? I was like, maybe we could do like a timeline of the town. Something cool like yeah. that. Like, and do like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cowboys in this era and all this stuff. They and, did that, though, on the other one. Yeah, we didn't get to do it on ours. They're like, you can do a storefront, and then when you get to the other one, we'll talk about your other idea. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fair. We never got to do the other one, and that guy got paid, like I said, like two grand, and we got told that the $200 that was put forth um, by the city council was our payment. <laughs> and I was like, hmm... How about you take a payment of these nuts? <laughs> yeah. And I remember like my mom went was so mad because we were like fresh eighteen. My mom was like telling me we should sue and shit. And I'm like, yeah, an eighteen year old sue in the city, that's gonna work out. Yeah. We didn't sign any contracts. We went about it all the wrong way. We just got fucking gypped. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Um But uh going back to the idea being the idea they had being fucking stupid, that's something I've noticed is, like, when you're doing art for people, like, a client, you always want to give them, like, you always, I mean, obviously, it, they're paying for it, so you want to give them a say, like, you want to give them, like, what do you want? And they'll be like, oh, I want this. But then there's, like, a, there's like a point that you get to where their lack of knowledge about art becomes a problem, I think that's a problem a lot of tattoo artists face. Yeah, they'll have like, oh, for sure. They'll have they, like, people will have ideas that really won't translate well to art. Or they'll say like, or they'll say something and you're sitting there like, that's not going to look good. Like, but I guess I'll draw it. Like, you can draw it, like it's possible, but what they're asking for will look kind of dumb. My favorite was back in the day, I used to do a lot of portrait work. So I like became pretty well known for, so a lot of people would ask me like, when I was like 17, 18, you know, that age, a lot of people would ask me for projects. They'd be like, hey, can you draw my dad? And I'd be like, oh, sure. And they'd hand me the picture of their... The shitty ass fucking grainy ass. Yeah, like a fucking Polaroid from 1952. And I'm like, um... I need a good picture. So what does your dad look like? Oh, that's the only picture I have of him. So your dad's a, a ghost from... Uh, it's like, well... And then Your dad's an apparition from a fucking photo taken in 1942 where people, conspiracy theories are like, the ghost haunts the mind and here's the 
ghost in the picture with all the miners. Yeah, like six, 1907. And then because it's a small town and I was a kid, people didn't talk. People were like, oh, I draw what I could. And then I'd be like, oh, thanks. And I'd be like, yeah, no problem. That'll be like 50 bucks. And they're like, um, how's like 40? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, I guess that's fine. And then two weeks later, I find out from like my mom or like a family member that like they, that person is upset with me because I did a shitty job on their thing. I'm like, well, maybe they shouldn't give me a shitty picture. Yeah. Like one, for instance, I got drawing, like, to draw this guy in a, God, what was it? He was in some kind of, like, suit. Like, he was, like, a cop or a EMT or something. But he was, like, looking down in the picture. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It was, um, I don't want to say their name. What was it the... It was, a. Uh, um... What was the profession? Firefighter. A fire. Oh, that's right. It was a really cool picture because he was like super in focus, and he was like looking down, and it was a cool picture. And I got commissioned to do this, and I was like, oh, dope. That's really cool. And I did the picture, and the client was like, well, why can't you see his face? I'm like, because you can't see his face in this picture. And he told me, you asked me to draw this picture. They were like, yeah. Oh. Well, can you draw with his face? No. Why wouldn't you? You told me to draw this picture. Why? <laughs> I, you'll have to recommission me. And then I found out, like, later, like, they were super mad at me because I did a shitty job. I'm like, you give me a shitty picture. Yeah. It's like, fuck told off. Me, told me to draw the picture. I drew the picture. I'm like, I literally did the job that was asked. I drew the picture. If you wanted a drawing of him in his fireman suit or whatever... Yeah. And you should have sent me a picture of him, like, standing in it smiling or something, or got a picture of it with his face. Like, well, I and I, like, mentioned that because I actually confronted that person. I'm like, so you don't like it? And they were like, oh, well, it's good. It's just not what I thought it was going to be. And I'm like, oh, well. Fuck you. It's not really, like, you to I did, I drew exactly what you told me to draw. I didn't, like, cheap you out. And she was like, oh, yeah, I know. And I was like, well... I mean, I'm not, like, people don't want to get drawings from me now because, like, they're... Yeah, you're, you saying, you going around saying that is not good publicity. <laughs> yeah, and they were like, oh, well... It makes it sound like I accept payment and then I just fucking half-ass the drawing because I don't feel like doing it or I don't... I got, my... I got that once from a client who straight up t told me I half-assed their drawing of their dog. And I was like, you wanted a 5 by 7 of a dog full body mm -hmm. I'm like 16 years old I'm not good at drawing hair at this point I thought they were just I don't know I think back and I think people are probably more of like helping me out rather than actually actually thinking my shit was good mm -hmm. I mean there were some drawings back that I'm really proud of yeah but I think for the most part this is their tail by the way if you guys can't tell I don't have any drawings back, back then that I like anymore oh uh, I mean, I, I, I appreciate them for my time. I don't think they're good as comparison to my drawings now. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Um, FYI, people, we're going to do kind of like a sandwiching thing here with these videos, with the remainder. Um, what, like talk for like, yeah, oh, yeah, we talked about talking for like 18, 15, 18 minutes and then going into time lapse till it's almost done and then coming back in and... Yeah, well, because with this one especially, like, I, to I told you guys she's a lab rat, so... She's going to be white, so I have to do a lot of white coloring. Yeah. Um, like, even her hair. I'm going to add... Uh, I'm probably going to ink the... Do a bit of inking in here, like black inking, because... Otherwise, it's going to look really weird, because... It's going to mm -hmm. be like... I don't know, I need to outline the hair somehow. Um, and like I said, I'm going to try to make this one cute, even though I just realized she's... Kind of cockeyed. But rats... I mean, I don't know. Whatever, we're going to kick into time-lapse here in a few minutes. Let me just... Get some shit done. Doesn't keep talking about stuff. Oh, today I went down to the supermarket and I bought a potato. And I came home and I cooked it and I ate it and it tasted good. And then it went in my tummy. And then a couple of hours later I had to poop. And I went to the, the bathroom and I pooped out the potato. You, you know, I had a similar story. Uh, story goes, I go down to the supermarket... I get a, I get cucumber, I bring home, I cucumber. shove it in ass, <laughs> and then shortly after I I vomit cucumber out. 
very similar vegetable in one orifice out the other I mean very similar stories to what we did we I'm surprised we did not run into each other at supermarket I know yeah you go I we run into each other at supermarket on my way to potato aisle and you go on your way to cucumber aisle that they they same aisle same yep. produce yep. aisle one <laughs> yep. oh my god uh, <laughs> I just want to paint this I don't know like I figure calling it red Something about red, like deep red, uh -huh. reminds me of like Chinese blood. culture. The old blood. Now, I'm not I'm not saying that in a racist term. I'm saying that because like you go to Chinese restaurants and they have like the red deity statues and the red chopsticks and the red menus. I immediately thought you were being racist. I immediately took that racist connotation, and you're actually the a terrible per person. You know, I want to know that you're joking, and just. Also, Roast. PSA for everyone out there, in the last Chinese Zodiac, well, I guess this, okay. So in the Chinese Zodiac episode where Derek was drawing his rooster, we talked about Sekiro. And I told you guys that I rang a demon bell, and <laughs> I got fucked. Are you saying that you're an idiot? Yes, I'm an oh. idiot. It's actually really easy to lift the curse. It's not permanent, so I didn't fuck myself. I know that now. So if any of you were like, Justin, idiot, you just get rid of it. Justin, you I'm silly sorry that bitch. I didn't... You just use it. Yeah, God, like, dang how, it. like, who would think that? Who would think to, that's like, who would think like, oh, I guess I used the demon to get rid of the demon. Or that the demon would even be an item in your inventory. I got overzealous and fucked this up. And it was really funny because I was having so much trouble... Fighting Gyobu. Anyone who's played Sekiro, that's, you know that's the dude. I the almost did something really bad. What? I'll tell you off camera. Cause I almost said something bad that would get me in trouble. Uh, I'm going to do it. No. It's not going to actually get me in trouble. Oh, okay. When you said Gyobu, I thought of Gyobu. Like in the old like fucking kung fu movies. Do not sit there and tell me that was racist. Eat ass. Well, it is kind of, but... Well, it's racist, but it was like a thing. It was a thing. Yo! I can't even Anyways, do it. Anyways, I kept trying to beat that boss, and it was really, really hard, and I kept dying over and over and over and over, and then the second I took the bell demon off, I beat him first try. So it was really annoying. Well, you used... He just found out you had to use the bell demon. Huh? You found out you had to use... Yeah, that's all I had to do. It was fucking... It appears in your inventory. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, is this game just gonna be e way easier now? And it wasn't. It's still fucking hard. It's just that part was easier? Just because I'd fought him so many times and I was used to him being way harder. Because what happened is, I don't really want to get too in-depth to it because I don't know like how many of everyone's been playing the game. I haven't been playing it and I'm not gonna. But uh, Go and there's call a me thing names. called posture in the game. And if you get, so there's two ways you can kill an enemy. Getting their HP to zero or getting their posture to zero and then you can just do a death blow on them. So... It's entirely possible to have an enemy with full health, and you get all their posture down, and then you just one-shot them. It sounds... It's it's still hard to get their posture down. It's not, like, easy. <laughs> Justin, it sounds like it's easy, and you're just a silly little bitch. <laughs> Anyways, in this boss fight with the bell demon on, his posture recharged really, really fast. And which was, like, the whole reason he was hard. And then, um, when I took the bell demon off, his posture was still like boss level but it wasn't it didn't recharge as fast and I could fucking actually fuck him up. So yeah. Fuck him up. But anyways, I just wanted to say that I realize now that I was an idiot and that it was actually really easy to lift the curse, which is nice of them. Because they could have easily just made it so that you're just fucked for the rest of the game. So I'm basically gonna do all her fucking accessories red. Mm-hmm. Cause she got like little hairpins in. Um, I probably won't make her earrings red, but her sword's gonna be red. I like how you talk about what you're gonna do with yours, and I'm just like, "Hey, it's spaghetti." Hey, it's a my spaghetti. A meatball. Who ate a my spaghetti? What was I gonna say? There's one more thing I wanna say before I. Oh shit. Oh, dude, you never stop talking. Cool. <laughs> Fine, then. I'm not talking anymore. All right, so you guys, by yourself. I'm using Carmine Red here. Um, it's number P3. 
three six nine. <laughs> Justin, talk. Do not leave me alone. Oh. So now you want me to talk. You know what? I don't. I. I. I okay. want you to talk, and I want you to gag. Gross. Uh, oh yeah, I remember the last thing I said. Anyways, and then like two On feet, my two feet away from the boss that I made, there's another boss. Well, that's a classic fucking trope of from software. Kind of yeah. Like oh you're you think you're at the jungle? That's funny. I literally you literally go around a corner. And this game really boss. stealth oriented. It can be. Ugh. You can it's... either do stealth or you can not do stealth, and stealth in my opinion is easier. So for because all those if you don't, out there who are like, make an easy mood, be stealthy. Well, okay, stealth isn't easy, but it's easier because you can just run around, you just sneak around and one shot enemies. But if you run out and just do like the Dark Souls path, you're just gonna get overrun by like twelve enemies because every enemy in the area is like. Aah! But yeah, stealth's an option. It's kind of like Assassin's Creed made a baby with Dark Souls. It's really fun. <laughs> It's really fun, but it's really hard. I made I made it to Senpo Temple recently, and there's a bunch of corrupted monks worshipping demons, and they fucking rock my world. Well, you should rock their socks off with their sick Bee Gees. I do. Oh. But some but some of them have these fucking prayer stabs, and they're really fucking hard, and they pull vault in the air. And oh, you're like a singular character. Like, there's no character creator, like, anything like that in this game. Oh, there... not, yeah, like, not in Dark Souls. You're an actual character. Or Bloodborne. Yeah, Bloodborne and Dark Souls have character creators. I didn't think of that. And this one, you're just a set character. That's kind of cool. That's what a lot of it's people... It's also way more story-oriented. Like, in Dark Souls and Bloodborne, it's kind of like the story's in the environment, so you have to, like, read descriptions of things and, like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that, and people mm -hmm. have to dig up shit for lore. But in this one, it's, like... It, it's an actual, like, narrative. Like, you're not just... You're not just being. You're not just walking through a fucking miserable hellscape, being confronted confronted with atrocities for no reason. You're walking through a miserable hellscape, hellscape, being confronted with atrocities while trying to save your friend, trying to save your master or whatever. Doesn't Sekiro mean like it's like scarred wolf? Yeah. I, I, well, that would make sense because everyone calls you a wolf in the game. Yeah, I think it means scarred wolf. And some dude, this dude you meet... He's no, like, one-armed wolf, I think. One-armed wolf, okay, that's what it is then. That has to be it, because everyone calls you a one-armed wolf. There's this dude in the game... Oh my god, that makes sense! There's this dude you meet in the game, he's like eight feet tall, and he has like a deem an Oni mask on. One of those ones with the huge long noses. And he's an old man, and he's like, you walk in and there's all these dead assassins around him, because he's killed them all. And he's like... Before I kill you, tell me your name, and then you don't say anything, and he's like, oh, you're a shinobi, you don't have a name, and then he's like, I'm gonna name, he's like, but you look like a one-armed wolf, and then he's like, alright, I'll name you Sekiro. I'm like, first of all, who said you could name me? <laughs> but I guess I won't, I won't argue, because well, I really don't want to fight you right now. <laughs> Is he like your senpai? Huh? Is he like your senpai in that game? No. Just oh. some random dude you find. Isn't there like an old guy in the game that like helps you out though? He's not in the game. He's dead. He's like in cutscenes. Oh. But yes, there's like a big old man with a the biggest braid I've ever seen in my life, and he's got an eye patch. And he takes him under his wing or whatever, and trains you in the way of the shinobi. And isn't a shinobi? Oh, you're a ninja. Never mind. Yeah, I remember. I was. I remember watching a thing on saying that like they wanted to go to Japan. They wanted to do the uh, samurai route. Mm -hmm. They chose not to. Oh, well, you fight samurai. Yeah, because there's not as many options as like oh, both hands are on a sword and that's it. You well, there's like they added a bunch of there's like a bunch of different fighting styles you can go into. So like you can do there's like this one. Yeah, there's more options as a ninja than there yeah. was as a yeah. samurai. But alright guys, I'm going to kick it, or I'll let you finish, sorry. Uh, there, oh, I want to talk about this part where you're like on these, you jump around on these rooftops. Yeah. And there's these ninjas up there that have like gray feathered, they're called the Nightjar Clan. And they have these gray feathered cloaks on and they wear these bird masks. 
and they're fucking crazy. They just jump up and do flips and shit. Anyways, there's this part where you're running along the rooftop and you look out in the sky and there's a kite. And I'm like, okay, why is there a kite? I'm running. And then as I get closer, you can see there's a dude on the kite like this. Like one of them's on the kite. And he fucking like... He's in a T-pose. Jumps down and like flies toward you like a, a missile. And, he, and they howl when they do it. They're like, woo! And it's really creepy. They look like ghosts when they so do it. So are they kind of like kamikaze? Like ancient kamikaze? Yes, it kills you. If you if oh, they hit, shit. If they hit you, it kills you. And it scared the shit out of me. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And like, there's a part where, there was a part where um, I literally had like three of them surrounding me on this huge tall ass tower rooftop. And I was fighting them and it was kind of epic. But it was really hard and I was also shitting myself. Because I didn't want to die. But it was also, I, I couldn't help but think, like, wow, this is epic. As I'm jumping around with these guys backflipping and I'm just, like, blocking them and trying to stay away from them. And they're throwing shuriken at me. We're just on this huge fucking rooftop that's, like, if I fell off of it, I would easily die. It's so far down. Uh, well, Justin, if you, like, Sekiro Shadows die twice so much, why don't you marry it? <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> We're going to kick in a time lapse, people. Yep. Babies. We're back. I have time lapse, so this was part of, that space. part of that sandwich thing I'm talking about that we're going to start doing with some of these drawings when I when you feel like they're going to be too long. It's a mouse. It's it's a rat. It's, it's, it's a, a rat. It's a rat. It's a dirty rat. It's a rat. It's a fucking rat. Her name is Gwendolyn. Her name is it Chinese for rat? Fuck. God damn it! I was like, wait, what are you looking up? Maybe I had her name written down in my compendium. You don't know. My compendium. Yeah. Your compendium of what? I don't know. So I decided to go a little more anime-y with this one. Hopefully it. Anime-y. Yeah. Hopefully it translated well. 
Manga-y? Manga-esque. Hopefully it translates well. I'm seriously, I, I never draw anime, and I'm still a little out of my comfort zone with these guys. Like they're like they're fun, but I'm a little out of my comfort zone still. Justin's like, I don't see why. What the zodiac? All of them? Yeah, because I'm like trying a new medium and. It, what? What do you mean? Help me understand. I'm trying a new like media, like. I'm, like, I'm it, using the watercolor pencils. Oh yeah, 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 okay, okay. Different form, other than their. It's, 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 be on my brave wavelength, dude. We were just on the same wavelength. What happened? I'm sorry. Ugh. I'm sorry. We need a divorce. Divorce! Let's I not get, be hasty. I get the kids. Oh, fuck off. I get the kids. Justin. You don't even, you, even, you don't even take care... You don't even watch them. They don't even call you dad. <gasps> they call you Justin when you're not around. Yeah, because you've been put... You've been, you've been turning them against me. Well, it was my seed... We decided it would be mine. I had the better bone structure. Yeah, but I picked. Uh, yes, I know you picked the. I know you picked the carrier, but you know that that doesn't matter in this situation. She's not involved, and apparent, and neither are you anymore. That's what you think. I'm calling the attorney in the morning. And I have a better lawyer, so. Well, my lawyer. You better fucking come to. You better fucking play to win. Well, my I'm lawyer is come. Jewish. Okay. So is mine. Oh, what what's his name? Mine's Rosenblatt. Rosenblatt. What gets more Jewish than that? You just <laughs> You did it. You killed you killed me. You've killed me. What was that joke we were making? You oh. fucking killed me. Hi grandpa! No, we're not fucking talking about that shit. Tell me what happened. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. It's funny. That one's a little, that one's a little bit, uh, not, I don't know about that one. I don't know what we should Okay, we won't add your part. I'm just going to say my part. What do you mean your part? Grandpa? It was all mine. What happened to the Aryan nation? Like, first of all, you haven't given any fucking context. Okay, so, dystopian future, there's no more Aryan nation, little kid asking his grandpa. Oh, God. Grandpa? What happened to the What happened to the Aryan nation? Well, son, they went to the moon. Why'd they go to the moon? Because it's white. Oh my god. So what happened to him up on the moon? Kill me. Well, judging by the fact that an that a white supremacist had a lower IQ than your average person, they went up there without spacesuits and all got died in the cold vacuum of space. <laughs> Oh my god. That's a funny story, Grandpa! <laughs> That's all I was gonna say. I wasn't gonna add yeah. your, I was gonna add your fucking horribly racist part, you racist Okay, well now Justin's a racist. Oh I'm not. She's a dumb mouth. <laughs> he said that the <laughs> No he said the grandson was like Nope, 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 nope. I just said He's like the grandson You just agreed not to say it. He just said that the grandson was like no. I'm sorry, Grandpa, but I've been inducted into the Muslim Brotherhood. And then he cuts off his grandpa's head. What? Exactly. I threw Just for, shut up. I threw you for a loop. You didn't... Finish your fucking rat drawing. Oh, yeah, I need yellow. Need yellow them. For, oh, for the gold thing. The gold thing and the gold on her, uh... Well, the gold... I need yellow and black. The gold <laughs> hilt of her... Um, uh, gold hilt of her sword... Oh also, yeah, I, I I forgot she has a sword. Also points to anyone who notices my tattoo is Lord of the Rings based. I forget the artist whose name I, whose work I base it off of, but it doesn't matter because my tattoo artist was very unhappy to do another artist's style, so he shit on it. Even though I told him I'm like, hey bro, uh, just an FYI, because like <laughs> when you get a tattoo they kind of give you a speech like I have any diseases, blah 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 blah. Uh huh. I was like, um, I bleed a lot when I get tattoos. And he was like an overconfident anus. He's like, <laughs> you won't bleed with me. 30 seconds into the fucking tattoo, there's blood everywhere. And he's like clearly panicking because he's, because I told him, I was like, if, well, if it's color, you may have to lay down extra color because like I bleed a lot. And he's like, <laughs> you're not going to bleed with me, kid. And I'm like, um, 
okay. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Like, I just fucking bleed a lot. Like, I, I'm not even... I don't have, like, hemophilia or anything. I just fucking bleed like a stuck pig when I get tattoos. <laughs> Whatever, kid. You're not gonna bleed. Okay. I guess so. Whatever you say, buddy. Yeah, you're the fucking expert. You you're the guy who knows to, my body better than you me. You went to fucking college for this. Oh, wait, you didn't. You learned how to do it in prison. Like, prison? I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> prison. A lot of your tattoo artists out there in the Probably world. Probably a good thing you didn't remember his name. <laughs> oh, no. The, art, the artists who did, the, like, the initial, like, design for this, I don't remember their name. I'm just not, I'm not gonna blast the fucking tattoo artists who did this. Wait. So you had, a, you had two different artists. One colored it and one... No, no, no. I found... I wanted a Lord of the Rings tattoo, but I wanted one... I didn't... Because when I initially went and planned it, he's like, yeah, dude, I'm going to be able to put, like, two faces on your arm. And I'm like, I don't want faces. I want, like, body. And I found these cool, like, tarot cards of uh, Lord of the Rings characters. And I was like, oh, these are dope. I was like, let's... I, want I forgot to the name of the... Oh, okay. Artist who did the original drawings of the tarot, tarot cards. Okay. Yeah, I know the I know the name of the artist. He still do, he does really good work, but he's just kind of an arrogant anus, and I don't like that in a tattoo artist. Yeah. It's like, dude, I I know what's going on with my body. I've got a couple tattoos. I bleed like a fucking stuck pig. Listen to me. Yeah. Hear me out. And then to he didn't he was so confident in his work that he like most tattoo artists would be like all right come back within a year and I'll uh, do a good touch up. He was like. I was like, so, uh, do you offer touch-ups, like, in the future? And he's like, oh, this won't even fade. I know how to lay my color. I know some artists don't, but I know how to lay color. And a couple, two years later, it's faded a lot, and it's really muddy, because I bled like a fucking stuck pig, like, two weeks after I got it. For, yeah. like, two weeks. You know, fuck that guy. You also got a fucking hole in your arm. Well, that was, I got MRSA. Fucking that police academy. Oh my god. It was fucking horrible. I just thought it was a ingrown hair, and then all of a sudden one day it turned into a volcano on my arm and exploded. And I was like, oh e shit. E what do I do? And I like went to the doc and I'm like, dude. Everyone's like, dude, you got MRSA. I'm like, oh, I've got MRSA. Shut up, you're dumb. And then I go to the doctor and I'm like, yep, that's MRSA. Rub this fucking cream on it and take these antibiotics. I'm like, no. <laughs> because once you get MRSA, you're susceptible to it for life. Cool. Because, well, like, everyone has staff in their body. Uh-huh. Um, it just have to, like... I don't know how exactly it works, but everyone has it in their body, and they can eventually, like, get it. Mm-hmm. And it can act up or whatever. But MRSA's, like, a stronger staff. Right. And I'm not exactly happy that I can, like, receive said skin or bone. I, I know MRSA can straight fucking murder you. Jeez. Yeah, like, it can kill you if it gets in your bones and shit. It's just like, oh, now your immune system sucks. It's like AIDS. Yeah, and you didn't think we'd finish this one in this session. <laughs> it is pretty fucking late. <laughs> well, you... It is not. It's like 10 p.m. Justin, I'm an old soul. Oh, shh. That's 10.30. Actually, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, what are you going to draw? Oh, smoke. Opium smoke. Yo, devil. Yo, devil. Oh, 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 oh. I just tapped the mic with the pen. You probably heard it. And I was so scared. I was going to fucking put some big gross gash of black ink on the fucking paper. That would suck. Yeah, that'd be a fucking huge L. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, Bobby. <laughs> that was a good one. I've been watching Bob's Burgers on Hulu. Got that Hulu script. Not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not a sponsor, but... God, stop it, Mike. Quit it. I'm talking to the Mike, but I'm not using his name because I'm trying to assert dominance over him. His name is Larry. Are we going to name everything in this fucking room? But Larry is actually a girl. Larry the Mike? 
Larry's a female. Okay. And, I'm with you. But I'm dehumanizing it by calling it fucking Mike. What is happening? I don't know. Stop! That's the, some fucking tangent you went off on. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to... I'm you t- idiot! Freaking the dog out again. <sighs> okay. I'm making strange noises. Looking at weirdo. And then we're gonna take. Looking bitch. Whoa. You're bitch. Whoa. You're looking bitch. Probably got him. Should, am I right, guys? I Hit should, the like button if I got him. I should probably wait for this to dry before I start <laughs> putting fucking white in there. But I'm an impatient son of a bitch. Oh, fuck! He's nuts. I'm kind of going off frame a little bit. Not really. You were for a second, but... There. Fucking opium dank. I'm sorry they might want to see that, but I'm sorry they may want to see the smoke. Fucking... You don't know. OG Kush in the house. You don't know. You don't know. Fuck you. There it is. D-H. Dick Von Hugington. Stop. Just kidding. Derek... Poisonberg. Dick? Dick? Who's a what? Today? I've literally had the fucking Squidward tent pole thing happen to me in my life before. You didn't color the earrings, buddy. Oh, shit. What color should those be? Those are going to be gold. Yeah, but you know, in like that episode. You of, almost forgot. <laughs> you know the episode of SpongeBob where he like gets the race snail and. Yeah. All that shit. And they're like, video. Squidward tent, tent poles. It's. Tentacles! Squidward. Tartalini! Yeah. That shit has happened to me. Like, people call me like, um, yes, is Mr. Uh, Hoisenberg there? And I'm like, nope! Hang up. <laughs> Unless it's important. My favorite one was Hosington. <sighs> that one. Okay, Hosington is understandable because my name is kind of like, it's like hoisin sauce. If you go to, like, the Chinese restaurant, you get hoisin sauce. It's a... I'm not going to spell it. Because you don't know how. I don't know how to spell my own last name. It's Idiot. I hate you right now. <laughs> you can suck on my fucking wiener. You can suck till I pre. Gross. All right. All right. I almost said the fellas. All right, babies. Uh, this Here it is. You're the rat. I... Uh, I fucking, I actually, fun fact, I uh, modeled her after Gadget from the Rescue Rangers from that first episode. We did, if you watch that. Except then I gave her Inuyasha hair, uh, a bun that looks like a snowball, and made her Chinese lab rat with a tattoo on her face. I like that? I like it. Yeah, okay, that's all, that's all, check out the rat girl, hopefully she doesn't come into your bed and, and produce live young. Gross. For that's your, for, oh, Jesus, Ugh. I'm sorry, um. That's a yikes. Truth be told, she's actually creates food for the Just year food. of the snake. Just kidding, the snake I'm basing it off of is a poisonous, a venomous snake. What kind of snake? A Chinese cobra, and we're actually gonna see something that's not a bust like this one. I'm actually I might, might do that one next. Set off the tone. I wanted them all to like match, but like this one's a back shot because I want to do something cool with like the Chinese cobra has a very specific pattern on its back, mm-hmm. on the back of its hood. But I'm gonna do it on the back of this girl's body. And I'm gonna give her like okay webbing, kind of from like her wrist to her like hips. Okay. So like if she flared out, she looked like. A cobra. Okay, bye, babies. <laughs> what the fuck? You'll see it. Yeah. Why am well, I talking about it? You'll we'll fucking see this we'll shit. See it live. You'll see it live on D and J Art Show. We'll see you next time, babies. Hit that subscribe. <laughs> smash it. Smash it like you smash your significant other. Smash it like I'm gonna smash your booty after this. Smack Clap those cheeks. Smack like a bongo drum. Yeah. That's me clapping his cheeks. Bye, babies. <laughs> Say bye. I, I bye. I said bye like seven times. Bye, babies. Doop-a-da, 
doop a da doop a da doop a da doop.